Hello friends! I'm you, I'm Yuna Rosas. Welcome back again to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, yes you are! Just hit the subscribe button and notification bell to notify you for my latest video. It because... I don't mama! You got me and I got you. Just leave the message in the comment box below and I'll be back to you. I promise! Welcome! 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 <laughs> Friends, our agenda today how to edit video on Android with Cyberlink Power Director, the best video editing apps on Android. Every features and every tools is available on this app. This video requested by Moses Garganera. He asking me what is my Android video editing and also he said, Ate, pwede po kayong gumawa ng how to edit a video po. So, this is it. So, let's get started now. Friends, this is the Power Director app. In Power Director, first thing we do, click the button create or a new project to start editing. Then, give your project a name. For example, Power Director. Then, click OK. Then, it takes to you into the import screen. And this is the import screen. But then, I will discuss to you later. So, I will press the back button. This is the overall interface of Power Director. The timeline in the bottom. The right hand side, we get setting button, share button, play button, and also undo button as well. In the left side hand, we get Import audio video button, layout button, which where can import audio video text on the separate layout to the primary video layout. We get some effect as well. Now, click the import audio and video. In the overall interface of Power Director, on the top, you will see the video, the pictures, and the audio. Make sure they have a video slide to navigate what video you want to import. Then select the video, click the plus sign to drop down the video on the timeline. Then, click the back button, back to the timeline. Now, the video footage is on the timeline. First step you will do is to scan the first part of your video and remove the extra footage on the start of the clip. Just tap the clip and we get the green handle to pop up. Then, drag the green handle to the right until to the get the video you want to be start. Then, do exactly the same at the end of the footage. Remove all the extra footage you don't want to be included to your video. Just tap the clip and slide the green handle to move back to where you want the video to be ended. And if you have to remove some section of your video that you have a mistake, to do that, find the area you want to remove, select the clip, then select the little knife, a little blade to cut the clip on that point. Then you can see there you got the two separate clip. You can add another cut where you want to start again. Then click the little knife or little blade and it will split the clip at that point. As you can see there are three clips in your timeline, and if you want to remove that clip, 
click the center or video. Then, select the delete button which is the trash can. But, we undo it first. You also have ability to pick up and remove the clip around your timeline the way you wanted. Just the matter of tapping or holding on the clip you wanted to move. Then move either to the left or to the right to the place you wanted to be included. You have a full control to refine your video. Then if you have additional footage you want to add in, just click the layer button on the left side, select the video, from there, navigate through to the video you wanted to add in your timeline, and hit the plus button to drop it down. Then, hit the back button two times to get back to the primary editing screen. As you see, the video you added is appear on its layer above your primary video layer. Actually, it's in a smaller box. You can pick up, move around, and scale it the way you want to look which is really powerful. We also have ability to split the clip. We cut handle up here as well. So we really refine how much the video clip you wanted to use. We can pick up the clip by tapping on and sliding left and right. You get have full control on it. The next step is to adding any audio music or sound effects into your edit. To do that, you just click the import media button, select the music on the top, and find the music track you wanna import. For us, we gonna add in time to travel. So select the tracks, hit the plus button, and drop down into timeline. Once again, hit the back button a couple of times to get back to our main editing interface. As you can see, there is a music track we've been dropped in the timeline right below in our video footage. It's just the same with the others control we add it. We just the same amount to control with the music or audio tracks as well. Just tapping on the music tracks you can see it right away, we got handle, which is a purple. We can adjust the start and end the point of the clip. We can split the clips into two. We can pick up the clips. We can move around in the timeline. The next step is to add in any title, text, or graphics into your video. So we can back at the start now. We can add title to our video by pressing the layer button, then title. Then, there's a different template to choose from. We just gonna pick the default with fade. It is a basic title we control and adjust, but automatically got fade within. To edit the text is just the matter to tapping on the text and replacing it whatever you want it. To get more control to your title, click the edit button and click the title designer. In there, you can change color, you can change the font, you can change whether the title is left, centered, or right justified. You can apply bold, italics filter. 
These apps allow you get pretty creative on your title. You also have ability to easily resize, reposition, recolor. So if you want to move your title, it is a matter of clicking on it and dragging into the position you want. So now, we have a title. Now, your video close to be finished. The next step is to color your video. Click the individual clip. Hit the edit button. And pick the color adjustment. In there, we get the three simple setting of your color correction which is the brightness contrast and saturation I will show you a quick comparison before an edited and the one we just have color and something else just to show in here as well you do have ability to add effects to your video process as well. It's just select the video and hit the effect button on the left. And there's effect you can add it or looks to your video. Look the difference. The next step is to adjust your audio level, select setting, and then audio mixing. You can adjust all your volume from the track level. You can do it with the enter track which is awesome. For example, by lowering the volume of music tracks, and music or song you've got on the track that all be now set to the new volume level you can also ability to adjust the volume clip by clip it's just the matter on selecting the clip you want to adjust the volume for clicking the edit button and then select volume And also, you can fade the volume on the start of your video and fade out in the end of the video. You can do that by selecting music track, press edit, and choose volume. And then, in audio configuration fade, you have ability to enable fade in and fade out for that music. Now, we can finish edit our video. You can press expo button on the top right corner. Give you two options. The ability to save the project, which is highly recommended to you. And you can press it again, the expo button. And select produce video. Cyberlink Power Director gives you a lot of options. You can save it directly to your gallery or to your SD card, share on Facebook, share on YouTube. You can also save export project on your Cyberlink Cloud. Friends, if you find this video a very helpful, I really appreciate it. Share and give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to notify you for my latest video. And also, share your thoughts in the comment box below. Until next time, I love you. Bye!